This is Jared from Commit to Quality. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick win of how you can drag and drop in Playwright. So I'm already on the commitquality.com practice page. And if I scroll down a little bit, I can see there's a drag and drop section, or you can navigate directly to commitquality.com slash practice, drag and drop. So all this page does is it has a small box here, which you're able to drag. And once you drag it over the bigger box, you see that success has appeared. And that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna show how to do this in Playwright. So let's go back to drag and drop. I'm gonna copy this URL and let's open up our test pack. So all I've got at the moment is just a basic test and we're bringing in the page fixture. First of all, we wanna say, go to the page. So let's say, go to commitquality.com practice drag and drop. And now I wanna show you the really simple and easy way of how you can automatically just drag a box onto the other one using one simple method. And then I'll also show you the manual way as well in case you need to do something else in between. But the nice simple way, so this would be the drag to method. We wanna say page.locator and we want to use the small box. This is the one we want to drag. So if I go back to Google Chrome, uh, let's inspect this just to see what we have. Here we go. We've got a we've got a data test ID and ID. I'll just use the ID for now. So we'll say ID of small box. And then we have the drag to method. So if we just hover over this, we can see that it states the method drags the locator to another target locator or target position. So the first move to the source element, which is the small box, perform a mouse down, so it's like you're clicking the mouse, then you're gonna to move to a target element, which is gonna be the bigger box. So that's what we have to pass into here. The argument we're passing through is the target. So that's another locator. So that's gonna be the bigger box. And I'm guessing it's just gonna be called large box. And we'll use the class for that one. It's not an ID. So we'll say class of large box. So simply just by performing this, what we should be seeing, of course, we haven't actually added the locator we've just said, go to that. So we want to say page.locator, and then it'll be large box. Silly mistake there. So you drag into the new locator of large box. Now then, let's put a page.pause in here. And let's just run the test. We'll run it in headed mode as well, so we can see it. Alternatively, you could use the UI mode, which will also show you all the actions that are happening. But what you can see here is gone over and it's gone to success because it's dragged it. So actually tell you what, instead of the page.pause, let's use the UI mode to show exactly what's happened. So we've got the basic test here. Let's run it. So we go into the URL and then we're using drag to, which here is showing the action where it's clicking this and it's showing where the target is as well. So if we go before, nothing's happened. And after you can see that success has appeared. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. So that's the quick and easy way. That's a simple way. And to be honest, that's the approach that you're probably going to take most of the time. However, just for a bit more context, I want to show you how you can do it manually as well. What I'm going to do is copy this test and we'll say manual. We're still going to go to the web page, of course, but now we're going to do it all without using the drag to method. So to do this, we want to say await page.locator and we want to get the locator, which is the small box. So we are saying we want to get the locator of the small box. And first of all, let's just hover over it. Once we've hovered over the element, we then want to do a mouse down, which is exactly what this drag to did. So we can do that by saying await page dot mouse dot down. So at this point, what we've said is I've moved my cursor over to this small box, which is this and now we hovered over we want to click the mouse down button so it's ready to drag so that should have done that then what we want to see is we want to hover over the large box so i can copy this line and let's just use the large box locator and you might have guessed in we've now got the mouse down it's still mouse down but it's moved over to the large box and now we want to say await page dot mouse app 
And that should be it. That should show now how basically what this drag to method is basically doing. When you're giving your locator, it's saying, okay, I want to hover over it, click the, ma the mouse down, and then saying, hover over this locator and click the mouse up. So that's probably, if you went into the actual code, similar to what they're doing behind the scenes. This does give you a little bit more um, options of maybe you want to do different things. You don't want to just drag to one element, but like I said, I can't see a massive use for all of this, but I like to show how it's kind of working. So let's do playwright test in UI mode. Let's bring this over. And if we click the manual test, we should see actions being performed and the end outcome was the exact same of success. But what you can see here it is we hovered over, we've clicked the mouse down. We're now saying drag over to this locator and mouse up, which shows the success after it. Perfect. And that's how easy player would have made it to do drag and drop. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I've also enabled super thanks on my videos now. If you find my tutorials helpful, you can add a super thanks, which helps me continue to create these. Thank you for watching and have a good day.